Is your business like a panda? I know before you start laughing, you know that I'm really fond of using metaphors from the ancient world and history and the natural world. And the reason I do that is because essentially they help us uh, remove ourselves from the context of business so we don't get lost in the weeds and can see the bigger picture and better understand the dynamic. And this is where pandas come in. Now, before we even go there, a couple of questions to address. First of all, are they pandas or are they raccoons? Well, this is just a point of interest and an aside. And yes, they are actually panda bears. We had DNA tests to prove it because they kind of look cute with little black circles around the eyes. And they're the brand ambassadors for China, primarily. <laughs> now, let's talk about pandas first and then business second and bring the two together so you can better understand what I'm talking about. Pandas are an evolutionary miracle. Now, essentially they are bears and they eat live prey, which they had to catch and they can no longer do so. And we don't even know what they were chasing and they must have been slow. But regardless, their food supply, their food source, their fuel source disappeared. Because they did that, essentially they had to adapt and overcome. In other words, they had to evolve and evolve they did. What did they do? Well, what they did is they changed their food source their fuel supply from meat to bamboo. And this is a picture most of us have of panda bears essentially sitting um, back, bamboo all over them, chewing on a stalk of bamboo because that's what they do in order to survive. Here's the thing now, we know from documentaries, and we're gonna get to business in a second, we know from documentaries that were a panda bear to come across dead prey, it sits down and eats it down to the bone, whether it's left over from somebody else's kill or a dead animal. If the digestive tract hasn't adapted to truly digest efficiently what they're currently eating, i.e. bamboo, from a particular region in China, no less, right? So not just any kind of bamboo. Uh, because of that, despite the fact that panda bears changed their food source. They evolved, they adapted, they overcame the adversity they faced. They now face a quandary. The quandary is that if they are active more than they should be on any given day, they cannot get sufficient calories from the prodigious amounts of bamboo that they actually eat in order to survive. So they live on a calorific knife edge. Worse than that, because their food source comes from a particular point, in, from a particular area in China, if, were, if it were not for human intervention, they would disappear off the face of the earth. So essentially, we have to intervene to make sure that they live in protected areas, we have to make sure that they're protected species, we have to make sure that their reproductive cycle is actually aided and sometimes accelerated through human intervention. So although they are uh, an evolutionary miracle, in many ways they're an evolutionary failure that constantly needs outside input, outside help, outside intervention in order to continue to survive simply because for us, they are cute. And now this brings us to do business. Business has to evolve and adapt. We talk about the dynamics of business, but they essentially have remained unchanged fundamentally for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. What does a business do? Well, a business is an entity in some shape or form. That entity provides a solution to a perceived problem at a cost that is palatable to the people that access it so they can solve whatever it is that they face and the business can actually make a profit. This is the viability of a business. If a business continues to do that, then it is viable in the long term. So why are we discussing panda bears? Why are we talking about the fundamentals of business because essentially as businesses live in a living, growing, evolving marketplace with daily pressures pile on daily pressures, we forget about this dynamic. We forget about what a business should do. We forget how when it comes to change and innovation and evolution and adaptation, we should always take viability long term in uh, consideration instead of choosing to solve for the particular problem which we face in the moment. If your business is like a panda bear, essentially, if for example, you fall into the trap of laying off all your key workers because they're expensive to keep, simply because you want to be able to maintain your profitability in the short term, you want to be able to control the operational costs which you have in the short term, 
then you have de-strengthened, you have weakened yourself. You can no longer in the future innovate at your own leisure. You can no longer take the risks which you take because you don't have that kind of margin which is available to you in order to do so. So what have you done? Well, essentially you've turned your business into a panda. Sure, you're surviving in the short term because you're doing the right thing in order to survive in the short term, but you have no long-term future. You have no long-term capability. You no longer have the ability to control your own destiny. You are now subject to outside forces which have to intervene in order to save you. And it's as simple as that. So if you think about your business and how you're thinking about evolving and adapting, how you're thinking about essentially facing the adversity which you face right now and repositioning what you do in order to deal better with it, if you make the wrong decision, which ensures your short-term survival, you may completely destroy your ability to have a viable business for the future. Something to think about, something to keep in mind. Let me know in the comments below how you found it. I hope this helps. Stay safe out there. See you all next time.